Hey everyone, welcome back to Bruno Has It. Today I have for you another flower video, but it's not going to be either of these. I just wanted to show you what they look like the next day. Genie looks amazing, still. Uh, I can't wait to see how this progresses. Hopefully it melts today um, after I pollinate it. It's a sunny day today, so this fragrance is coming off strongly. It's uh, not as strong as other Echinopsis, but it's still definitely there. It's a, it's a light musky scent, um, kind of sweet, but not like that full flavor of Echinopsis that you get from like some of the species that have that like, you know, lemon smell. This is the one that was opening up partially and this is what it looks like now. I don't know if it's a species or not, but um, who knows? I could try and find out. Uh, it looked like it didn't finish fully forming, like it was rushed. Um, yeah. Anyway, the star of the show today is this right here. This is Echinopsis Sleeping Beauty, and it's still in the process of opening up. It's about 10.30 today, and I'm trying not to hurt myself. This is what I'm gonna do instead. I can't turn it without stabbing myself with the uh, spines, but this is what the bud looks like as it opens. We're gonna check back in a bit to see what it looks like when it does fully open. And again, it's a sunny day, so we're gonna get a lot of that fragrance once it is open. So it seems that Genie is about to uh, fold over. So to avoid risk of it, you know, falling off the plant, I'm gonna go ahead and pollinate it. I hope that in doing so, it'll trigger the plant to try and keep the fruit and the floral tube, you know, full of water. Um, I'm not going to pollinate uh, Sleeping Beauty just yet for aesthetic reasons. I wanted to take more pictures of it. So um, we're going to start off with gathering pollen. I'm going to do that with this brush. Um, I'm just going to go in and rub it. There's no risk of cross-pollination. I mean, I mean uh, self-pollination because Look at how that thing is buried in there. Otherwise, they'd be producing fruits all the time, and Echinopsis is not known to do that, or at least not the fancy hybrids otherwise. I have gotten fruits year after year after year. I don't know if you can see the, the pollen on that. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in, there we go. So this thing is covered in pollen, and I'm just gonna go, just dabble it right on the stigma, and I'm not gonna bother trying to get like more pollen because I don't want to pollinate Sleeping Beauty just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle it all over here. Hopefully that's enough. I can also just go ahead and rub this off. It's not foolproof, but I was in there and I don't want to risk it. Although, eh, whatever. I mean, it'll bloom again, right? It's not like it's the first time I've, oop, there we go. My bad. Anyway, I'll sprinkle some more on, and we'll see how these turn out in um, in a bit. I guess I don't know how much longer it's gonna take. It's gonna take a few days. Petals are gonna close in, but the tube is gonna stay erect, assuming it was successful and this thing isn't too heavy. This is what the yellow flower looks like now. Don't know what it's up don't know what's up with it. I can't even speak. I just got back from the gym, so blood's, blood's rushing all over the place, and I'm not thinking straight. So another look at Sleeping Beauty. Nice. All right. It's about 10.45, and this is what Sleeping Beauty looks like. I'm really hoping it keeps its form for the morning. So I can take a few pictures using the sunlight because um, over here the flash is just washing out the, the color of the petals, which is kind of sad. It's a it's a more rich peach color, but it's showing up kind of pale. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. Just wanted to show you how it might change from night to morning, and then. Genie is starting to scrunch up. 
Hopefully it was a success and I didn't wait too long, but it probably worked. Like, it'll do what it needs to. And if not, I think I saw a bud over here coming in. We'll just have to wait. There's always next year also, so no pressure. It's the next day and we have a beautiful peach bloom. Woo! It's always tiring waking up this early. It really isn't that early. I'm just being lazy today. But um, it's worth it. It's worth waking up to see these things before they close up. I'm sad I'm going to be busy today, so I can't really enjoy this thing. So I'm going to go grab my paintbrush and pollinate this thing with this thing. So between taking pictures, I accidentally uh, almost dropped this thing. So the flower's looking rough now. It's kind of upsetting, but what can I do? Now I'm just collecting the pollen from Genie and placing it on the stigma of Sleeping Beauty. Probably gonna use a little more. And that's that's all there is to it show's over sleeping beauty is out and so is genie and this little whatever it was now uh, now i wait i'll know for sure that the top the pollination resulted in fertilization when all of this shrivels up and falls off but the ovary stays I'll be able to just like kind of pull it off and the only thing remaining would be the stigma or the pistol rather um yeah so this is this is what they look like after they've melted i'm guessing it got pretty hot in here which is a good sign because it means that it's almost hot enough to move everything out i was going to do that this weekend but temperatures dropped again it's it's been annoying really um but it's almost may so i guess i'm just gonna throw these out there then i just hope it's not too hot that they all get sunburnt you know Ooh. foreshadowing tomorrow it looks like we'll get two blooms hey all right the fun never stops here on bruno has it so join me again next time